Thanks for joining us on One on One. Congratulations on 100 games, Gaz. Thanks, mate. Not Excellent. there yet. Soon, though, hopefully. On 99 games, yes. Okay. Thanks. I see where you went with that. That was, good. That was clever. Uh, all right, Gaz, just run us through your path to the AFL from your junior club to draft day because I know it's a bit different to most people. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, yeah, I haven't been playing footy for very long, as you would probably already know. I played soccer from the age of about 7 to 14 and then I was probably just lucky enough to jag a spot with Bull Creek Leaming filling in because they were shorter numbers. So mm -hmm. spent a year there. And then after that, I quit soccer and played footy full time at Bull Creek Leaming and then uh, moved on to Colts at Eastern Mount when I was 17 and got drafted at the end of that year, which is 2005. And here I am today. Here you are today. Now, uh, when you first got drafted, you stayed at home with your folks for a little while. How do you mm -hmm. think that helped with your development? Um, I think it's just easy. Obviously, footy's a big step and it's easy for me to have my family life all the same. So uh, it was only five minutes down the road from Eastern Mount to the actual free oval. So everything. As far as my, my routine was exactly the same and home cooked meals always helped. So you yeah, weren't able to have that, but yeah, that always helped and having my home life pretty stable, it's good. Yeah, now uh, it is good, save a bit of cabbage too. So <laughs> now guys, we've got something in common. We're both the only people left from our year, from our draft, still at the club. So how hard do you think it is staying involved in the AFL system? Um, it's really hard. I think the average career of an AFL player is two and a half or three years, I think. and. Uh, yeah, I was drafted in 2005, like I said, with Robbie Warnock and Marcus Drum, and Marcus Drum moved on to Geelong, and Robbie Warnock to Carlton now, and as you said, you're the only one from your draft too, so it is it was difficult. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're yeah. a little bit further down the track yeah. than me, but I'm seven years in still, and yeah, I'm the only one left. Now, guys, earlier on in the year for the Western Derby, you were uh, fortunately dropped. Um, just run us through that and what Ross said, and how you think you've uh, developed since then. Yeah, I've, I've played every game this year up until that time, and Ross sort of said to me, uh, that I hadn't been performing probably to the, the best of my ability up until that stage and that was his main reason for dropping me that week and I sat in the stands and watched the derby which is hard enough as it is but um, to see you boys playing against West Coast and know that I could have been out there contributing if I had been playing my best footy was really hard and the next week Ross sort of spoke to me and said that it was something that he thought I can contribute more and give a bit more than I was and he sort of thought it was a good idea for me to see what it's like to, to not, not play and to spend the time in the crowd and watching your teammates play a game of footy. And that's something that I think I'll use for motivation now for, well, for the rest of my career. It was something that was really, really hard for me to do and I didn't enjoy it one bit. So yeah, it's been a motivation for me and I hope it doesn't happen again. Oh, well, it's no fun, is it? And it happens to everyone and you've played really good footy since. So I think it's something that's helped you. Uh, so did you ever think you'd play 100 games? No. <laughs> to be honest, I got drafted when I was 17 years old and at the time I was a 50-50. Like you said, I had only played sort of three or four years up until that stage and uh, well, I was 17 and I didn't know if I was going to get drafted. It was a maybe pile more than anything and luckily I got drafted number 26 to Freo, which has been a fantastic thing. And then since then, it took me a couple of years before I played my first game and then I didn't play again for almost half a season. And then I came in and I was out and then came in again then came out and then come in have been relatively steady since then. So it's been a little bit up and down for me and it's been a bit of a process, but yeah, it's good to hopefully get there this weekend. Hopefully get there, I think mm. we'll get there. Now, who's been your biggest influence down at the football club? It's been a few people along the way. Obviously, when I first started, there was guys around like Matty Carr and Josh Carr who were from the same area as me and Shawnee Mack as well, who were obviously a little bit older uh, at the time and have moved on to different things now. <coughs> Uh, they were probably big influences around the club. I'll get to you in a second. You have been a big one too. It's too much as I hate to say it. I know you want to hear it. But uh, yeah, those guys initially were a big one for me, knowing that they were, uh, even Shawnee Mack was the same school as me. So we went through the same school, same uh, junior club, East Roman, all then to Freo. So it's been relatively the same path. And then uh, you as well, as much as I know you're hinting at it as a joke, it, you have helped me out a lot. We spent a lot of time together since yeah. I started playing footy and since I was even just playing Eastern Mantle before that. So uh, you've probably been one of the closest friends I've had the whole time at the club and you're still here now, so I can't go past saying you have been a bit of a help. So yeah, thanks. Good work, Gaz. Sticking nice, after man. each other in the newsroom. <laughs> uh, so what's been your biggest uh, highlight since you've been at the football club? There's been a few. Obviously my first game, uh, I was only 19 at the time and we're playing Richmond at home, round yeah. 11. Uh, nervous of playing my first game, but it was good to get that through and then Playing my 50th game and then my first final have all been right up there for the most enjoyable things I've had at footy. So hopefully it's a few more good times to come. Totally agree with you, Gaz. Thanks for joining us in one-on-one -on -one and uh, hopefully, hopefully you run through the banner for your 100th game of the weekend. I'll be right there beside you. I did miss out on your first game because I was suspended. So yeah, thanks. Uh, this is our first milestone <laughs> together. Good work, Gaz. Thanks, mate.